Prince Andrew, uh, of course, we've heard and seen lots about that. It caused him to actually uh, have some, some issues happen there in the UK and the loss of title and some things there. But um, there's been a lot released in these documents. Uh, there's a woman who was the pilot, uh, a pilot who was taken by Epstein at 15 years old and became his slave. Uh, she was a co-conspirator, a part of the whole thing that, you know, she was a child. You know, it's interesting also, they tried to um, change, minimize, soften terminology when the mainstream media is covering this. Of course, they want to implicate Trump as the big name in it, but everything about Trump has been either retracted, debunked, or it's just been hearsay, but that's the lead story. They want to talk about Trump, Trump was here, Trump did that, and now all of that's been debunked. And if, don't you think uh, they already had information? If they already had anything, as much as they've gone after Trump, it would be out there. You'd see the pictures, you'd see everything. But what really is going on is these people, celebrities, sports figures, politicians that were on the island, big names and figures like Prince Andrew, these people are afraid. Even Barack Obama, the day after President Trump was inaugurated in 2016, went straight to Richard Branson's island, which is right next to Epstein's island. Richard Branson has been fighting and fighting to do away with the death penalty. And why? Because he knows all of these people, their involvement, they've tried to minimize what has happened on these islands and what's been done to these children. First of all, they try to call them underage women. No, these are youth, these are children. Stop the games with calling them underage women. You're just trying to minimize CNN and other networks. You're trying to minimize that these are kids, these are youth, these are children that have been targeted by evil people who have used them, abused them, and made them sex slaves. But this young woman has been missing now since these uh, release and dump of information have come out. She's missing and several other situations going on. Has someone put her in witness protection or has someone stolen her or is she suicidal or has something happened with her? We don't know, but we know that he took her from Slovakia when she was 15 years old. That's a child, that's a youth and has used her and manipulated her for all of these things going on. We have all kinds of other names going on as well. Also watch another terminology they'll use and that is they'll say non-consensual sex. No, it's rape. Stop calling it non-consensual sex. And sex with minors is not acceptable. I don't care what you say. So they're pushing they're pushing government, they're pushing to make policy that youth and kids can consent to sex. This is all part of their pedophilia. You know, they accused Trump a long time ago of being a misogynist, right? They've driven misogynist, 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 and made a huge deal over certain terminologies that were used. But at the same time, they were minimizing pedophilia and saying, oh, it didn't really happen. It's why they came out against the Sound of Freedom movie, which I also document in my book, They're Coming for Your Children. It's why they've tried to minimize it, make it a QAnon a conspiracy. There's no pedophilia in Hollywood. There's no pedophilia in politicians. They're, none of this is going on at Epstein Island. None of this is happening. They're lying. And they were scared spitless when Trump was inaugurated and put in office because he said the words, they should get the death penalty. And ever since and they've been running scared and have brought out a voracious attack and have tried to do everything they can to keep Trump out of office because he says when he is, they will get the death penalty. And also in these allegations, uh, we've also seen in these dumps of Epstein documents uh, and emails, there's also where it's stated that Clinton likes them young. We have Steve Hawking uh, having an underage orgy Again, underage, no, let's call it what it is, an orgy with children, with youth. This is what Steve Hawking did. Bill Richardson, the now deceased former New, York, New Mexico governor, Bill Richardson, Bill Gates, the Microsoft founder and CEO, often tries to downplay his relationship with Epstein, even though the two have met in Gates' offices in Seattle with a model who was promised a job at his foundation. There's also Reid Hoffman, the founder of LinkedIn, who has been to the infamous island and even made plans to visit Epstein's mansion in New York City, according to the New York Post. 
Hoffman has been known to donate his wealth to Democrat politicians and organizations. But in 2023, he decided to donate $250,000 to Republican candidate Nikki Haley. Let's remember, Nikki Haley is part of the World Economic Forum as well. As I talk about in Fight Like Heaven, and they're coming for your children, these agendas are coming from high, high places, high places. And these people, these elites, have used politicians, celebrities to cover, to sell their wares. They've involved them. They've been part of this. This has been an international sex trafficking ring. I believe it's getting exposed. And they'll do anything to stop Donald Trump in 2024 to stop their exposure and then being brought to execution and to the death penalty as many of them deserve. And you may think, well, Nadia Marcinkova, this missing model pilot, uh, co-conspirator with Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell, you may think, well, she's as guilty as they are. But let's do remember, she was 15 years old when he took her from her country he used her, abused her, made her his slave, broke her, I believe, mentally, emotionally, and used her then against other young women. And so, you know, we need to consider what was done to her as a child to break her and use her. And this is horrific. To do these things to children, it actually reforms their thinking. It completely brainwashes them and breaks them down. And I pray Somewhere she's being protected, and I pray she'll come out against all of these evildoers and hopefully get less of a sentence. I don't know if that's what you think. Let me know what you think about it. But I do think when you take a child and you involve her in all of these things and you break her first emotionally, and this is what they do in Hollywood too. They break people. They break them down until they no longer have an identity. Then they use them to sell their wares. This is like the Hunger Games. It's what's happened with celebrities, with stars. You know, people, all, all these young kids want to be a star. They want to be famous. They want to be popular. But what they really do is break these stars and give them fame and fortune if they'll do their bidding, if they'll sell their wares. That's why you see Hollywood stars all the time speaking up and, and, and they're activated to speak up or speak for some big agenda that's being pushed by the World Economic Forum and leaders from foreign places and elitists. They're used like this. And if they do what they want them to do, they have a career, they have fortunes, but they've been sold out. Many stars and celebrities have said, I sold my soul to the devil. Well, they really have. And that's what happens. So sometimes all it glitters is not gold. And I had one time someone tell me in that sphere of influence said, it's not what it seems to be. They sell it as really glamour and excitement. It's really idolatry that's used to sell satanic, occultic ideologies straight from the pit of hell. Can let's just, let's just be honest, straight from the pit of hell. And so let's not idolize these people anymore. Let's recognize, I just binged Hunger Games, can you tell, uh, with the new one coming out, and I went back and watched all the old ones. But it's true. It is so true. I said it many years ago in my very first book, She Gets It. I talked about how celebrities have been used to sell abortion, sell LGBTQ, sell all these agendas to young, uh, young unsuspecting children, brainwash them, brainwash our culture, uh, desensitize us, and really get us to the place where we, ex we expect it and we accept it. So let's go there and let's make sure we expose these things to our kids and have these conversations so that our children don't fall into these things. You know, Ezekiel 3, 11 says, go get the captives, your people's children, and speak to them whether they hear or refuse. This is the reason I wrote, and they're coming for your, you know, they're coming for your children the fight we must win. I wrote it because we've got to go after our children, our people's children, the American children, the world's children. We've got to go after them and uh, jerk them out of the clutches of a celebrity culture, Hollywood culture that is using and abusing them and out of the hands of politicians that are making policies to use and abuse children. So between pharmaceutical companies who are using and abusing children and Hollywood culture that's using and abusing children and politicians that are being controlled. How many of these people, politicians, went to Epstein Island? How many of them are making policies and they know how to push the buttons? Anytime something comes up, some issue, they get them to vote or to stand up or to speak up 
in their, uh, the way they want them to perform. They're nothing more than puppets because they were at Epstein's Island, because they have dirt on them, because they have stuff on them. It's called a honeypot, and it's as old as uh, mankind, really. I mean, you know, look at Samson and Delilah. It's as old as it comes, the honeypot, where you dangle the carrot, you set someone up, you get dirt on them, you get information on them, you use sin to get them into a bind, and then you have something on them that you control and manipulate. And that is what we are going to see I believe, come down in 2024.